Hello, everybody. This is Vicki with Ready, Set, Resell. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going live on Facebook. It's been a while. I've had some glitches a while back. And, you know, once you start doing this um, live streaming, you have glitches, you get a little bit nervous about trying to do it again. So we're going to try it again, see how it goes. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, please let me know in the comments. I hope somebody's watching it out there. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to tell, but also if you're watching on YouTube, give it a thumbs up and uh, let's get started. So i um, Vicki Englund. I have been selling online for over 20 years part-time and now I'm transitioning to being a full-time reseller. So I'm going over um, the bins hall number 13, which is by far the largest haul I've had uh, at the Goodwill outlets, also known as the bins. Um, I take a slightly different approach to this time. I just went with things that I thought were fun. Um, I didn't really care as much what the brand name was. I went with a few new items, types of items that I've never tried before. Um, a lot of clothing still, but a lot of stuff that's just fun also. And a couple family things, so you get to see that. So first, um, actually, here is the total here. We've got 66 cents. So that's the uh, hard goods, which I'm going to start with. Those are, that was three and a half pounds worth. So very inexpensive. Uh, one item which is a bike that i got for three dollars and the rest is 54.2 uh, pounds of stuff so i'm going to keep a tab i tabulate which items i'm going to sell which items i'm going to keep which items i'll probably turn into crafts and which items i'm not quite sure because what i want to do at the end of the day at the end of this recording is take the 68 dollars and 15 cents i'll probably subtract out the bike um, but get an idea of how much I paid per item, because when you are reselling um, or just buying stuff for your family, it's awesome to be able to say at the end, oh, I only paid two bucks for this top or whatever. So let's get started. There's a lot of stuff to pack in. So first, um, let me go over the hard goods that I mentioned. So the hard goods are things like this mug. Um, because it weighs so much, you're not going to pay the same amount at the bins. It's a really cute owl mug. I'm just going to start selling cute mugs on my Poshmark. It's a Food Network brand. And so that is the first item for selling. The next item, actually, I'll probably have to bring a couple up here. This is also one of the hard goods that I got. Um, things, again, that are in a separate part of the Goodwill outlet that weigh differently. It's one of those cameos. It's kind of like, um, looks probably like it's a decoupage onto plaster. You can tell there's a lot of wear. Um, it's, it is a plaster um, frame also, so it's not wood. So I'm not sure how old this is, but I know there are people that really like this kind of tchotchke. So I went ahead and got that. Next, I have this dog. Now, I'm sure he is a particular kind of dog. I'm going to guess Springer Spaniel, but I am not a dog breed knower. So I'll probably look up and make sure. But uh, made out of resin, I did double check to make sure we didn't have any chips or anything broken. Um, really cute. I know people who love dogs and love specific breeds of dog. Uh, so I just got this little statue for selling. So that's our third item so far to sell. Next is a piece of artwork. I'm starting to expand into art. This says Cafe du Monde, New Orleans. So Cafe of the World, New Orleans. Um, it is matted. There's some information about the artist on the back, even a price tag. So that will be a cool thing to put in one of the many, many, many places I sell. Um, this is a deluxe greeting card book. And what this organizer allows you to do, I used to use one back in the day, it actually comes with birthday cards and other cards. And then you go through each month and the idea is that you write down everyone in your family and your friends um, who actually have a birthday. And then you put the cards that you want to send to them. So you can keep things organized. You can not forget somebody's birthday or anniversary also a great item and by the way if you see any items here that you want to buy please put them in the notes and i will get in touch with you okay the next couple items are the last two hard goods it looks like that i have right now one is this amazing tiger mug now i the brand is not even i don't think on the on the bottom here but i really liked the picture i thought it was really good quality inside is a different color you can see it has not been used um, everything is together as it should be. You can even see a good reflection on there. So I thought that would be a fun mug to sell. And then next, I think sometimes I just buy things and I'm not really sure what they are, but I'm pretty sure that this is a ceramic and it's got someone's initials on the back, a handmade, um, incense burner or incense holder. So you put that incense. It's very pretty. Um, I think that will go well on the Etsy shop and the other places that I sell. 
Alrighty. Next couple of things are, are little. So we've got stationery and some ribbon. Now I collect these and what I'll end up doing is putting them in a box. And when I get a full box of ribbon, I will sell it as a lot. And I've sold that several ways, several times. Since those are so little, I'll just count those as one. Next I have craft. We've got fabric. It's a thicker fabric or an upholstery. And here, when you buy fabric, you can also sometimes tell Okay, so this is actually called Sun and Shade. It's Waverly, which is a good brand. It's probably why I picked it up. Um, it's for outdoor furniture, so maybe a pillow outside or a cushion. I'm going to measure that out and sell that. And actually, I got these over almost a month ago, so I don't actually remember a lot of what's in here. Um, next is this yarn, and it's a, a particular kind of yarn. I used to use it a lot to make these uh, ruffled items and if I can't sell this um, by itself I will lot this together and so so far we are 10 items next item is a cute handmade child sweater it says made with love by the crafty grandma so there you go um, very cute I love the colors um, so that will go in and actually it has a pattern kind of an open weave pattern in the back that will go to be sold uh, this next pile is is kid stuff. So this is just a Gap Kids um, hoodie, zip up sweater hoodie. I'll try to breeze through some of these because I know this video will take forever. This is Jumping Beans. Very cute little uh, striped colorful shirt. And then these next couple ones are going to end up uh, for Walker. Unless he can't fit in them, which he's a 2T right now and these are a 2T. So this might be a little skinny for him. I'm actually going to put this... Um, I don't know if his legs are this skinny. So we'll try it out. We'll put on the keep. And then if, we're, if it doesn't fit him, we will put it to sell. These are a pair of khaki pants. They are uh, children's place. I think they are also, they're also at 18 to 24 months. These look a little bit big for 18 to 24. So we'll try these on Walker and see what happens. But I will list that as keep. Next, we have a swim top. I believe it's a swim top and not just a tank top. Um, it is art class, large child, very cute top. Um, yeah, I think it is a swim because it's got the layers on it. Next, we have another sweater. It's a polo Ralph Lauren, just size small cardigan. Very cute. It's got the pink, pink logo here, so you know it's real. Next is this fun dress. It is by Gap Kids. Um, it's got it's got lace, it's got sound, you can hear the sequins on it. Uh, just a fun dress, so that will be going up there. Would have been good for Valentine's, but I don't know how many kids actually don't have a Valentine's Day wardrobe. <laughs> uh, next is a really large beach towel that I got because our pool is now open at our house, and so it's always good to have just a really big fluffy towel. It's not in perfect condition. Got a little, a little snag somewhere down here. Got a little snag here. But, um, you know, it's, it's good. It'll keep you dry uh, coming out of the pool. So that's a keep. Next, I have some pants here. These are going to be mine, most likely. They are an extra large size New York and Company. It's just an easy pair of sweatpants with uh, the pink line down the side. That's a keep. Now, this one, I could not believe that I saw this at the bins. And it weighs a ton, but it is so beautiful. I guess it's maybe more like a costume. But look, it's this dress. It's very heavy. It, um, it says 100% pure silk. The brand is Monica. Anybody knows this brand? Oh, sorry, Yannica. Look at that. Um, I cannot imagine wearing this. It is so heavy. Uh, but as I looked at it, I could tell that the beads were intact. There wasn't anything wrong with it that I could tell so far. Again, you kind of tend to see um, this type of any flaws on something like this you might see when you go to take the pictures, but oh my gosh, I would, I would, don't know if I could wear that. It weighs so much, but it's beautiful. So I'm sure someone will love that. Um, we got a couple more home good items. This is just some artwork. Uh, it's doesn't have an artist name. It doesn't really have any other identifying information. It looks like these flowers might have been fake flowers because it's kind of powdery. So when I take this out of the plastic, I'll have to clean it up a little bit, but um, artwork has been doing really well for me lately. And speaking of artwork, I have these two larger pieces. So uh, 
you are my sunshine. <laughs> it's a canvas. It doesn't, I think I saw maybe a minor flaw, maybe a little white spot right there. But other than that, it looks good. It actually still has the $16.99 TJ Maxx um, label on it. So that will be fun to list. I've been doing a lot, like I said, in the home section of her Poshmark. And this isn't so much something to hang up, but it's a it's a vintage wooden backgammon board. And so this would either be a really fun tabletop that someone could make, or if they had backgammon pieces, they could use this with their backgammon pieces. Um, other than that, I just couldn't let it go. It's just too cool. So I'll write down those two as sell items. Then we have a, just two Afghans this time, <laughs> which usually have a lot more. So um, this is a baby Afghan. And I think there was a, one of these spots here had a little bit of a problem that I could fix. I can't really find it right now, but just very cute. Um, you can see the pattern. Actually, it looks like the pattern is a kitty cat now that I look at it. Um, so very cute, cute pattern throughout. That'll do well. And it's, it's lightweight, so that's, and it's a good size for a baby. Um, next is what I think you would definitely refer to as a scrap afghan. So as you can see, this person had a bunch of different kind of yarn, and they most likely um, knitted each of these squares and then eventually put them together. So it's really fun, really funky, lots of different colors. Looking forward to listing that one. Um, next, I have some of those items that I was talking about that I'm starting to try out. So little pillows. So these have all been washed. Um, this one's fun. Life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass. It's about learning to dance in the rain. And that's a quote from Vivian Green. So all the Vivian Green fans out there, very good condition. The next one is this throw pillow. So this kind of matches a throw pillow that I found last week that I um, am selling as well. The brand here is Urban, Urban Living. Got a little loop here, which is maybe where the price tag originally went. And then this third pillow, I love Americana theme, as you can tell. So um, it does just have this one flaw here with the string being gone, but it does have the original tag. The brand is a home classics. I don't know anything about uh, about these brands, but what I can tell you is that I think if you lot this with other pillows or maybe put together an Americana themed, um, not gift basket, but you know, Americana themed lot, that that would do well. Uh, next item we have are two different bags. So this first one is an orange canvas bag. And it's got this cool summer pattern on one side, and on the other side it says, I love waves. It has both the handles and the shoulder strap. And it is from AEO, American Eagle Outfitters. So that'll be a fun one to list. Very clean, again, all, all has been washed, which is why this one looks a little bit rough. It's got some lint on it from washing it. It's Disney. Um, it looks like it was probably purchased at the resort itself because one of the tags in here uh, led me to believe that, although now, Oh, I'm just actually looking in the pocket and I found some wipes <laughs> in the pocket. So why you should always check the pockets of, of bags and uh, purses and clothes. Um, the next box is kind of a group of items. Um, I, I found some really great fabric. And so, for example, this is a piece of polyester. It looks as though it's vintage. It's got this great kind of art deco pattern. Um, there's some good yardage to this, so this will be this will do well. I like to get the bigger pieces because you just never know um, how many yards or how much pieces people are looking for for a project. But then sometimes you just get smaller pieces. So this is some, um, I think this is Waverly. No, Kingsway fabric. So this is this is just a half yard, but it's really pretty. Um, this piece here, I'm going to count as a whole piece too. This is kind of like a silky, very large, several um, yards worth. Don't think I have anything on the on the edge to tell me who it's who it's by, but that's cool. Um, and then the rest of this is kind of just smaller pieces. So you kind of have, you know, this piece here. Um, this might be enough to count. Like I think I, I think I would just go as well. This is a smaller piece. It's going to say. If I have something that's at least a yard, I would list it at that. But what I'll probably do is take all the purples and lock them together. Uh, I thought this was really fun fabric, so I didn't want to let it go. These rainbow cats. Um, so just basically this whole box of fabric, I'll just count it as one 
item because they're all different sizes and shapes. And so it'll take a little bit of time to figure out uh, the best way to, to sell that. Okay, now for the clothes. Um, so I like to concentrate on plus size clothing. And that's why you'll see uh, almost all of that is what this is. So this is Elaine Bryant, 1416. Oops. I just thought that the colors were beautiful. It's got this lace here down the front. It's got a V-neck. Um, just really cute. It's just, like I said, 14, 16, so it is a plus size. Um, and we have a Apartment 9 is this brand. 1X, button down. Very basic, but very colorful. You know, the things that are more colorful will take better pictures also. So that's always something that you want to keep in mind when you're looking for something to sell. It has to take a good picture. If it's just black, uh, it's not going to be very exciting. Elements. So this is a cute... Um, Kind of like a, a tunic. It might even be a dress. Although this is a size XL. I got a lot of XLs in this in this batch, uh, so it's a cute XL. And I'll be doing a lot of XL um, bundling together too, or lotting together. This is a large Style and Co. Um, I tend to like the brands that I knew when I worked at Macy's, which is one of these brands. Very sheer, very stretchy, very pretty, bright colors again to take really great pictures. Um, this is a New York and Company. Uh, it's a size, um, I think it says 10, which is a smaller size, but look how beautiful it is. It just has this great A-line, fit and flare, um, pretty blue for spring and summer. Next, we have this kind of rose-colored ANA, which is A New Approach, which is a brand by JCPenney, and this is a size large. Again, with these tank tops, it's really great to just lot them together because who wouldn't want to get three great tops for the price of one, especially when you're already paying uh, for shipping on, on um, Poshmark. This is Apartment 9, a Kohl's brand, extra large, very pretty coral color. Here are some, uh, I don't have maternity wear in my store until now. Uh, this is a maternity size 16, Isabel maternity. And, um, you know, it's got these side panels that stretch. I'm not sure if they were originally cutoffs or not, but these were in good shape. So I thought I would go ahead and put a few maternity items in there when I can find them. Uh, this is a Columbia bright blue fleecy jacket. Now, maybe there are still, you know, hiking and things going on where you would need to have something, even though the weather's starting to get warm. But it's a nice bright color that will take pictures well. Uh, this is a Liz Claiborne, large, very sheer, but fun, colorful. Something like this that doesn't weigh much means that I didn't pay much for it and it also won't be that much to ship. Next, we have a Sag Harbor, which is not my favorite brand, but this is a 16W. It's a really brightly colored green button down top. All the buttons are there, so I'm excited about that one. Next. And I, like I said, I haven't even looked at these. It's been, it's been a minute. Uh, this is BCBG Max Azria. It is a uh, size of, oh, looks like it's a size four. So yes, uh, that is a much smaller size than what I typically like. But I do have a lot of fours in my store right now because of the purchase I made through ThreadUp. Um, but it's a cute dress. It's very simple color blocked dress. Next is this purple one. This is Maurice's. It is an extra large. Very pretty floral that I'll take uh, pictures well with those nice, nice colors. Then we have a uh, Billa, extra large. That's what the tag looks like. A cute kind of boho type um, pattern. It's got this lace up here. Um, actually has beads and sequins on it too. A tank top. Next we have looks like another brand Alfani probably. Yep, this is an Alfani extra large on top lots of great colors patterns those kinds of things that really show up well on the mannequin when you take the photos next is a chico's size one um, it's got some great flower floral words and uh, paintings of flowers on it i don't simply like chico's because i just don't understand why they had to create their own sizing but, you know to each his own, I guess. It just makes it more complicated when you're trying to figure out what size it actually is. Aw, Rainbow Kitty Cat. Um, this one I don't think had a brand or a size, but um, very cute. 
I know a lot of cat lovers who would love that. This is uh, more of a career blazer. This is Romans. It's a 26W. Um, and it's very flowy. Um, it does not have any buttons because it's not supposed to. It's an open jacket. You can tell because it also has this cute wavy pattern right here. And we have this really pretty top. It is uh, Studio 1940. It's an extra large. It seems to have like a padded side. You can braless the swimsuits here. here. Very cute. This is possibly retro, but in any case, colorful. A 20W Allison Daly plus size button down. Very colorful uh, square patterned top. We have the sweatshirt project by French Laundry. This is a 1X. It's a very long uh, cardigan. It does feel exactly like a sweatshirt. Um, so it's got these longer arms. It's very cozy. I like things that are longer like that. And those are some really cool colors. Next, we have a, a winter coat. <laughs> yes, I know. It is April. Uh, however, this coat was just there. It's called Wilda. Um, it's very big. It's in very great condition. I always also check the pockets. Found some receipts from Dillard. So this is probably old. Well, receipt from 2003. I wonder if it was for this coat. Uh, no, it does not look, look like it was for this coat, but I will take a look and see to make sure. In any case, I, um, you know, it's always cold somewhere, right? <laughs> Got this great um, furry hood, really great condition. Um, I just couldn't, oh, it's heavy. I just couldn't pass it up. Next is this really pretty uh, EST 1946 top. It's a 22W. Uh, maybe it's, say, I can't remember what this one is. This brand is a little bit odd. Um, there's the, the tag. But it's very cute, very flowy. It's got this, these ties that kind of hang down and little tassels are in excellent condition. So that one will be fun. Um, next, I have a couple new with tag items. And so again, there are reasons why I get things that are not plus size. One of them would be uh, new with tag. So this is Espresso is the name of the, of the brand. This is a Actually, it's a 3X, so it does fit all the categories. Here's the tag, Espresso Los Angeles. It's like a shimmery gold tank maxi dress, perhaps. Um, so that's cool. I don't think it has a price on the tag, but having the tag is beneficial because then you know that no one's worn it. Well, theoretically. Next, we have Melrose Chic, uh, which is an XL, also new with tags. Um, it's a cute button down. Actually, it might be snap. I don't know it's button. Um, cardigan, which is very good to have. It's kind of got a cool pattern to it. Um, we've got a couple other th items that I don't typically carry, but I do now. This is a this is a child's tie. I know you see all those ties back there, but this is a child's tie. Um, it's by Talbot's Kids, so I will be listing it. I'm going to iron it after you wash it. It gets a little wrinkly. Um, I'm going to do that. Then I have this bra, which is in very good condition. It's an underwire. The brand is Anita. Again, I don't know a whole lot about these bra brands, although buying and selling, oh, it's a maternity bra. So now I have two maternity items uh, in, my, in my shop. And so I will tell you that, you know, buying something like that doesn't weigh a whole lot and also shipping it doesn't weigh a whole lot. So, but you can still pay a lot of money for a maternity bra. Um, this is a pair of stretch pants from Max Studio, size large. There. Very good condition, kind of this polka dot, navy, silver polka dot, or navy and white polka dot. And pants are hard because everybody needs them, but it's much more fun to buy a top, especially when you have one like this. So this is an interesting top. It's got um, different scenes of the night sky, the desert. Um, no fear is the brand and it's extra large. I have a feeling this could actually be like um, a teenager's, a boy uh, shirt. It kind of measures that way, but I'll have to see. I might just list it as unisex if that's a thing you can do um, and see how it goes. Oops, I to write that one down. Next, I have an Old Navy leggings. Stevie is the style. If you look right here. 
one X. And we have Style & Co. Um, this is a cool, looks kind of like a wrap. It does have, arm, uh, well, it has open arms. So it's got, and it's got these really, this is kind of the part that I like, these beads and these mirrors about it. It's a large, um, but it looks very, very beachy. So some are coming up. I thought that would be a good idea. Just a few more items left. We have a Raphael Woman. This is the the uh, tag here this is a 3x it's kind of got that textured feel um 3x button down long sleeve I'll just leave it here uh top and then we've got a skirt very pretty color skirt um this is actually a size 18 from lane bryant a cotton pencil skirt very cute very good condition good length also and then looks like we're finally to the last item. I think that's it. Um, this is a dress barn 2X ruffle. This kind of got that velvet feel uh, career blazer. Um, so that is a lot of items. I've been sitting staring at all those items for a long time. So I'm glad I finally got around to doing these videos. I'm going to count up what we've got. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 60, 68. <laughs> Well, this math is easy. It was 68.15. And let's, you know, even if we took away the $3, I mean, it doesn't really matter. We can keep the $3 bike in. 68 divided by 68 is a dollar. So, and if you take out the bike, it's a less than a dollar for each one of these items. So that is why I love going to bins because I can get lots of really cool stuff. I can know when I'm listing it for sale that, hey, I only bought it for a dollar. So, uh, we can play around. We can make some great offers to some buyers and hopefully make a lot of money on this lot. So thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And in Facebook, if you're watching, please let me know that you enjoy seeing this because that will get me motivated to do the next haul, um, which would be bins haul number 14. And I have not been to the bins yet. So I'm trying to tell myself I don't get to go unless I have done my homework, which is this video. So thank you guys so much uh, for joining me today.